Hey y'all, it's me, Sarah Another Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So, let's see what's going on. What's going on for the collective? What's going on? So, somebody here is lying doing spell work or they're lying about doing spell work. They're lying about doing sex magic. Yeah, lying, doing spell work and sex magic here um, is what came out. What else can we collect here? Someone here is lying to keep you possibly collective under a spell by way of sex magic. But your angels here, your ancestors are watching over this um, situation. So just relax and trust the divine guidance that you are receiving because you are receiving divine guidance throughout this situation. Um, let me see. I'll do three more. You got tarot card reading, rumors, and then we got stuck in the past and wrong way. So someone here could be spreading rumors about you if you're a tarot card reader or there could be so a tarot card reading that could um, make you aware of some type of rumors and spell work and lying. Um, these are people from your past here who want to keep you moving in the wrong direction. So be aware of that. And then we got caught up in growth that flipped over inside the deck. So someone here is getting caught up because you've grown beyond whatever illusion here. There was someone here who possibly could have been um, copying your energy here. But now it's like, because of the way you're divinely guided, um, everything's backfiring on this person. So let's see, what's lying for the collective? Someone is lying. What is lying for the collective? Lying? Okay. So this came out in reverse, the six of swords in the reverse so usually in the upright you know this is signifying being divinely guided and moving in a new direction but if coming up in the reverse a clarifying line means that someone here has been lying to keep you from moving forward despite your intuition you've already been told to move forward you possibly could have told this person who's lying that you wanted to move forward but they kept lying in order to keep you missing opportunities here so let's clarify lying one more time lying yeah this king of cups here i feel like somebody was lying because it's like they know that you're um uh emotionally sensitive person they were playing on your emotions um and you know they were saying things just to play on your emotions whoever this was or this could have been a king of cups who was uh emotionally manipulative who was lying here and i feel like you or this person could really be in regret right now because of the lies that they told um because someone here has like very strong feelings, but they were just concealing it. There was some type of codependent situation where it was like people were, um, it's like instead of using the gift, someone got caught up in the ego is what I also see here. There was some type of codependency where a lot of people were giving someone here a lot of attention, but they were lying to this person. They weren't, they were codependent on this person and they were, you know, just, I don't know someone wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Yeah, lying, lying, gossiping, lying. Could have been a family situation here. What's this spell work? What is the spell work? These codependent individuals are lying to a king of cups, someone who has a big heart to keep them from moving forward. So we got spell work here. So this king of wands also represents someone who could have been doing spell work over um, a child or something like that. They could have been doing picture magic over this king of wands. Um, could be a fire sign because um, they were keeping this person in a risky kind of impulsive type of energy by um, possibly could have been doing like lust spells to make this person feel lustful um because this person was single and independent and you know had a lot of money and they turned their back completed the cycle with these people who were lying so in return what they did was start running spell work over this person so what's this sexual fantasies we got the ace of wands in the tower um 
definitely yeah conflict so missed opportunities so we have with the sexual fantasies i feel like someone here could have been you know in this lustful energy and ended up possibly um catching some type of disease or something like that or you know this could be a warning for someone be careful who you have sex with because you know there could be a major shift in your sex life depending on who you have sex with there is some type of conflicting energy that will make you feel like you miss an opportunity here that will make you feel somebody here also could be bored within a connection and they're in conflict because they want some type of passion but they can't get there but i do feel like someone is taking action very soon to get to whatever this is that they desire this passionate new beginning here um i feel like someone here could be going within themselves and ghosting everyone else going into a solitude space um in order to you know really get in control of their own energy so what's this angel numbers here you could be going through a spiritual awakening so someone here also could be um leaving a they could be leaving some type of religious um background type of energy behind leaving that out in the cold um because they could be feeling very confused within whatever this hierophant energy is um and i feel like someone's angels are guiding them to go in a new direction to learn something new to step out on a limb and try something different um someone's here it's like they they're about to make a choice to sacrifice these connections with whoever this is that's lying in order to move forward because they're missing out on too many opportunities or this is you you know you're missing out on too many opportunities trying to sit here stuck and stagnant with um believing someone someone else's viewpoints okay so it's time to take charge over your life so let's see what's this relax card okay so you're being called to relax because you know despite everything that you've been through you are still protected you are heavily protected that's how you're able to still be here standing up no matter you know how many times you've fallen down you continue to get back up and um with this queen of wands energy here i feel like you you know you're very confident in what it is that you're going for next i feel like you're attracting your your desires so you know whatever these people were trying to do to you where they were trying to come for you it's all been reversed back to this person and you know you are protected it's backfired something has backfired here and now it's like or this yeah whatever you know mental confusion this person could be in a confused space you know where they were trying to block your clarity they are now not able to see clearly so let's see what's the guidance here divine guidance i feel like your spiritual team, spiritual team had to step in because they feel like you you know you've learned your lesson you know now it's it's time for things to be balanced out so with the guidance here i feel like someone's job possibly from the past um or these people, this could be children, this could be work or work situations, it could be somebody who you've known for a long time, who you work with for a long time, but something has just been exposed here or will be exposed. One of these people from your past is going to expose something about um, a work situation, whether this be something that happens while you're at work or there may be, um, it's, it's something here to do with work and a closing of a cycle here that you've with a opportunity that you've been in for a while with the eight of pentacles and the six of cups okay this is something that intuitively you have already known and you know it's going to make you feel like whoa you know dang i can't believe this whole time i was missing out on or overlooking this opportunity here but i do feel like um you could also be being guided towards an opportunity that's going to make you extremely happy that's going to make you feel um you know, like very like free inside um, with the Six of Cups. It's going to be something, a, a past work situation. Maybe someone here may be wanting you to come back or something like that. Maybe there's an opportunity coming in within a, a, a past work situation that will help you to be in a better situation now. Um, just trust your intuition. Also, I feel like there's could be things going on while you are at work. 
um, and needing to work with children, the children that you are around. So let's clarify the tarot reading. Yeah, so somebody here, somebody here from your past, somebody here also, yeah, somebody here from your past um, could have lied to and gave you a reading here. This person could have been trying to keep you um, stuck in your mind by lying to you, saying possibly that you were going to be better off single and abundant. Um, but really, it's like there there was some type of um, illusion there. There was some type of miss. There was some something unstable here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There was something unstable about the information that you were receiving from this person um, that wasn't exactly making sense. Like somebody here was purposely giving you readings to keep you walking away and um, missing out on opportunities here. This could have been a King of Pentacles or this could have been a, a somebody who you went to who had a business as a tarot card reader, someone who was possibly well known at one point or somebody who you saw as a credible source, but really um, this person was lying and being paid to lie to you. So let's see, what's this um, rumor? So it's like you were giving this person your money and at the same time, they were also being fed money from someone else to say, okay, tell them this and tell them that. So rumors, this queen of swords here with the messenger card, there is going to be a message that comes through. There is going to be some clarity that comes through for, um, to clear up some type of rumors um, for you because... Um, what, yeah, these, I feel like you're going to choose to ghost this person, whoever this is, this Queen of Swords person, when you find out this news about these rumors and the things that have been really being said behind your back. So, um, and this, these are people who, from your past, because somebody here was being very manipulative. They were just using their um, business and their credibility, possibly from the past that they built up over years, to say um, things to lead you in the wrong direction, but really... They lost their gifts. Whoever this was lost their gifts a while ago. And so they were giving you information. They were just taking the money. Okay. Whoever this was was taking the money um, because it was, they felt as though you were gullible enough to believe it. But this is somebody from your past who um, was trying to keep you from chariot moving forward. They were sitting there watching you um, and trying to stop you from moving forward, trying to keep you stuck in the past here. So let's see. Let's go if I stuck in the past. This is somebody close to, somebody who you've known for a long time. Stuck in the past, yeah. So somebody here was trying to keep you stuck in a past commitment with a queen of pentacles. Could be an earth sign here or somebody who's just very materialistic. They were trying to stagnate your growth and keep you from moving forward. So that's why they were telling you all these false lies and trying to keep you collaborating with them. Um, possibly could have said that they were pregnant or something like that. But justice is about to be served because your ancestors had to step in and give you the clarity that you need to know that you were going the wrong way here. So let's go about the wrong way. Wrong way. Okay. So, yeah. So somebody here, I feel like you're going to find the strength to move forward after finding the truth and the clarity that you need. This person here, this Knight of Cups energy, they, they're not exactly, you know, very consistent here. And I feel like you intuitively already know that this is possibly the wrong way for you to go. Whoever this is, they're emotionally not as mature as you are as the King of Cups. Um, but let's see, what's this Knight of Cups? Wrong direction. Knight of Cups. Yeah. You know, I see you moving forward. You could be taking your taking your cup and just moving forward, trusting your intuition, choosing to lay things to rest and just move forward. You know, yeah, because there look you. I feel like somebody here was talking to some type of family or some type of community, and they just had them continuously missing out on opportunities, continuously missing out on opportunities left and right. And I feel like this is why um, now look, you're going to be able to move forward because these people were obsessed with you. These people were obsessed with watching you. These people were obsessed with, you know, um, just you and who you were. You was like, was an excessive amount of attention that was on you. Um, and I feel like this could have been a Capricorn, a Libra, a, a Pisces, or a um, Gemini here. But yeah, someone here was choosing to live under illusions here. Or this Gemini or this Cancer could have been keeping someone under illusions. Um 
out of fear, keeping someone in like a bitter type of mentality, like, oh, you may not ever have love type energy. But I feel like now it, someone is going to be able to clearly see what's going on around them as they move away from these Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this unstable, this unstable people and move towards the Ace of Pentacles, which is built off of a firm foundation here. Yeah, this requires you completing all these cycles with these people, trusting your intuition, possibly completing out a cycle with a mother figure here with the Queen of Cups, because this person kind of likes to gossip and lie a lot. This could be the Gemini, this could be the Cancer, um, this could be a Virgo as well, this could be also be a Libra, but again, this is another sign, um, another mother card here. Somebody here's mom could have been lying to keep them continuously collaborating with them, Um yeah, keeping them in a loop here. But I feel like some, it was like an investment in this person. But now it's like you're choosing to walk away because it's become too heavy. Someone here is playing too many mind games. This mother figure is playing too many mind games. They're too competitive. They're trying to win at all costs. And um, yeah, you could have been in your mind juggling back and forth whether or not you should you know, cut this person off or not. And to be honest, I think it's probably a good idea for you to cut this person off because of the fact that um, it's, it's not genuine. You know, The information is not coming from a genuine place. It's coming from a malicious, uh, manipulative place. Um, but you do have the insight and the clarity that you need because you have it within yourself already. So... You have it within yourself. Let me see what else can I pull. Is there anything else I can pull from? Let's see, let's see the kippers. Let's see what the kippers is talking about. What's the kippers talking about? Okay, so message. There's a message coming in here. Um possibly this could be you sending a message to your um, mother or whoever this is that's just not exactly being honest or yeah so we got mature man main male and despair so this person could be in despair possibly receiving a message um, about some type of um, courtship I don't know let me see Courthouse, family secrets, and wealthy man. There could also be somebody here who could be receiving some type of money. There could have been a, a parent who was keeping away some type of money from someone because they were already a wealthy man or something like that. What else? And it's because they were not. Look, son and wealth. There is going to be some type of revealing of something that is going to bring in a lot of money because there was like a lot of instability within a, a community. But then we saw the Ace of Pentacles in a distant horizon changes coming here. Let me see, anything else? Poverty. Who will be in poverty? Unexpected income. Okay, so right now, maybe things are a little tight right now, but in the distant horizons, you can't expect some unexpected money to arrive on your front door for you. There will be a, a pleasant surprise, a, ple a pleasant lump sum that is going to be returned to you because here we have thief, thief, community. So there could have been a um, someone here who stole some type of money This. This um, privileged lady could have also been that Queen of Cups here, or this person could have been um, expecting something from, you know, the fruits of your labor. Yeah. Because you were in a, a, a high honor occupation. You could have had a, a job that paid you very well. Um, and with that, that's why somebody here was choosing to be so manipulative and codependent. You were like an official person. So this is just clarifying further for whoever this message is for. Yeah, we've got courtship on the bottom of the deck. So maybe someone here was trying to keep you um, stuck in something that maybe you didn't want to be in or something like that. Mature woman. Yeah. Message of concern. So this this person, this mature woman, is about to get a message of concern, possibly about a gift or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, those is just 
the final messages, guys, just to give you some type of insight further. Um, let's see, I'll pull some of these and then I'll close it out. So I hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And then we got the white light here. So I feel like somebody's about to be truly moving in silence and just going towards the light. Um, you know, choosing to really trust in the divine. I feel like you're going to be trusting in the divine, just moving. You know, knowing that there's certain things that you're not supposed to entertain. Certain things that you're not going to entertain and you're just going to keep moving forward. Um... I feel like, you know, you're going to have to follow your heart's desires and set yourself free and really take a risk here. Dive into this bag of marbles here and take a risk. You're going to be juggling um, a, a few different things. But, you know, this is just the beginning with seedling. This is just the beginning. This is just the seeds being planted. Um, trust that your ancestors are definitely guiding you, but then they are guiding you towards abundance. They're guiding you towards a space where you will no longer lack. Yeah. Look out for feathers because you could be getting signs from the other side um, through way of feathers and different animals like birds. Touch a plant when you go outside. Touch a plant and just close your eyes and imagine <laughs> what it is that you need to receive. And there, there is some information there. I don't know who that's for, but that's for someone here because now you're about to start soaring. Now that you've, you know, left the nest and allowed yourself to find a sense of independence, you're, you're about to start soaring. All right, y'all. So that is what I have for you. Go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. See you in the next one. Bye.